Now, we're up to the point where things can happen on this cube that can't possibly happen on a normal 3x3. Um, so, like, like on a 3x3, we'll start on the solved side, if there is one. Um, and we'll do this algorithm that moves these three edges around. Just up with the middle, across, down with the middle, across twice, up, across, down. Here we go. Here's something that can't possibly happen on a 3x3. Three three. Um, one, three edges done, one edge pair inverted. On a 3x3, three three, obviously that can't happen. If you ever have seen it happen, that means you've done exactly this, which is broken your cube and put it apart, put it back the wrong way. There is no way to solve that on a 3x3. Three three. Yes, 3x3s three can come apart in case you didn't know. Okay. So in order to do the, solve this on a 4x4, four four, it is kind of long. Um, I'll read out, I'll say out the notation of the, uh, the notation of the moves. Okay. Um, so we have, by the way, this is the R face. This slice right here is lowercase r. That's what I'll call this. This is lowercase l. This is l. This is u. Lowercase u. Lowercase d. And d. Okay? That's just about all. And, of course, the whole slice here is the front. But I won't... Alright, so... We do lowercase r lowercase r squared the back squared and then u squared lowercase l u squared lowercase r prime u squared lowercase r u squared f squared lowercase r f squared lowercase l prime b squared and lowercase r squared it's kinda long but that will solve the 4x4 if you have only one edge pair missing uh, there are a few other things that can possibly happen on a 4x4 that can't happen in the third layer of a 3x3 um, oh, I'll make a case for you, one second. If you ever have, this looks like it's solved right now, but if you ever have something like this, where you have two pairs solved, and the other ones are correctly inverted, but they're not, they're just opposite each other, so these need to go over here, and these need to go over here. Uh, this one is pretty easy, it's pretty short too. In order to switch opposite edge pairs, what you do, and keep the same orientation, so which means they're going to keep orange on top, so this will solve the cube in this case, is lowercase r squared, u squared, lowercase r squared, u and lowercase u squared, so the whole top half, lowercase r squared, and then just lowercase u squared. Okay? Um, let's see. Yeah, there are, there's still some other stuff that, that can, uh, happen on 4x4 than not on 3x3. I'll make another one for you. Okay, if you ever get to the point where you have two edge pairs solved, and the other two are unsolved, and they're on the wrong faces, so the two that are solved, this one needs to come here, and this one needs to come here, there is no set algorithm just to switch adjacent edge pairs. But, what you can do is switch opposite edge pairs and then it'll eventually solve from there. So what you want to do is hold it so that you have one of the unsolved ones in front and one of the unsolved ones on the right face and do the opposite edge pair switch that I just showed you before which is lowercase r squared, u squared, lowercase r squared, whole upper half squared, lowercase r squared, and lowercase u squared. And then you have three unsolved edge pairs. You can go to the one solved side that's still left. And then do the edge switcher, the one from the one from before this step.
Okay, and you're gonna do that again. This is this is algorithm from the normal three by three. In case you didn't recognize that, the one right before the H or the fish pattern. Okay, and that'll bring you to the case where you have one unsolved edge pair on the correct side, just inverted. And so that algorithm that I showed you before. I'll say it again just in case. You have lowercase r squared, b squared, u squared, lowercase l, u squared, lowercase r prime, u squared, lowercase r, u squared, f squared, lowercase r, f squared, lowercase l prime, b squared, and lowercase r squared. And that's how you solve a 4x4. Four four. Uh, hopefully you got something out of that. And maybe next time I'll show you how to solve the 5x5, five five, the professor's cube.